So the four sources of damp are a leak, which is recent and wouldn't have had an impact, rainwater penetration or penetrating damp, condensation and hygroscopic salts, which come from coal. It was for an old chimney breast, possibly from horses in the past. It's not a source of damp, but it will cause damp symptoms and it will act very much like condensation or a grease stain. So this is the ground floor of a Victorian shop. It had been a dry cleaners. The owners um, redeveloped the property upstairs and downstairs. Downstairs, unfortunately, was left cold. And a lot of the problems stem from the lack of ventilation and heating during the time of refurbishment. This is below ground level, but we have mould. Have a look at what we say during the survey. Just to say that if there's mould, you don't have rising down because rising down contains nitrates that inhibit mould growth. The other thing is when you've got um, a solid floor, which you have here, you, you can get condensation forming on the floor itself mm. and then that causes the dampness to um, to wake up but th this actually there's there's a damp proof course there as well um the other thing is you've got the heat loss of the external so, wall. yeah uh, so that's why it's worse here than, than elsewhere although you do have it elsewhere and that, that's cold as well but it's not uh, under, under the stairs yeah. it's a little... this um this shows heat loss and obviously it's showing. So on the other side of this wall, there's a corridor down, which was left cold. Wall, particularly there. Yeah. Um, so you can it's see in the thermal down, imaging camera down, where blue is colder than orange. Obviously, if water is coming through, then uh, that will indicate um, a potential source. Uh, and it will cause heat loss as well. Yeah, so that's holding. So that is perfect, yeah. No leak there. So this is testing no. for a leak by unscrewing, turning the stop clock off and unscrewing it and if it drops there's a leak. So this is a rodent that's eaten its way through the plastic pipe the soil pipe so there was another leak but this was identified by the builder the day the day flat before. Flat. but so the, where's the leak coming from then when you flush the toilet this is looking ah. down the wall comes out because obviously so this is behind the main part of the shop so looking on the outside we see a lot of green your side starts here um there's obviously quite a lot of dampness going into the wall here and it's not drying out. Uh, I would definitely recommend bringing the plinth up. And that pipe is overshooting so water is liable to come down. Looking from above, we see the pipe is overshooting. Also, the hopper is rusted. Wrought iron will rust over time. It's 100 years old and it's liable to be leaking and should be replaced. There's also the neighbor's gutter that's full that could cause water to overflow. There are also hygroscopic salts, this band of dark sooty brick comes from hygroscopic salts. Now I don't advocate damp proofing treatment but in this case I would put in the rods because the wall is exposed at the base and they don't cost very much to do and you've got your builder there you might as well do it uh, you do it in the perpendiculars uh, or perps as they're called uh, but I wouldn't use the damp proofer slurry uh, if you can, you should 
install thermal insulating plasterboard or the dry lining that you have is adequate uh, I would remove any of the cement that's bridging the damp proof course and and then you're, you're free to cover it with whatever you would like so skirting board um, the on the hygroscopic salts you won't know if they're hygroscopic until you have dried the building out thoroughly and any remaining damp you just want to cover it with a zinza oil base primer such as zinza cover stain uh, and then deal with the external damp because it's primarily external and you in addition of course you want to have uh, ventilation, uh, dehumidification and monitoring, keeping the dew point always below the external temperature day and night. Look at the full report.